Symbiosis. Now that's a very interesting topic, especially underwater. There are three main types, mutualism, commensalism, and parasitism. But let's take them one at a time. Mutualism. Mutualism is a relationship between two organisms where both organisms benefit from having the other around. Some would even say they would die without the other. Here are some examples. The eel enjoys having his teeth cleaned by a cleaner shrimp, while the shrimp enjoys a tasty meal. The decorator crab will select pieces of seaweed, coral, or anemones to cover its body. This provides camouflage and protection from predators. The riders feast on leftover tidbits from the crab's meals. The goby and blind shrimp share a home. The shrimp cleans house while the goby stands guard. This shrimp is lucky to have two protectors. The manta ray has remora attached to his body. The remoras nibble off parasites and snack on leftovers. This lemon shark has a remora that cleans his teeth. He could eat him, but I guess he prefers the cleaning. Clownfish become immune to the stinging tentacles of the anemone. The anemone provides protection from predators while the clownfish remove debris. Other fish have this relationship with anemones and urchins too. Crabs and shrimp also provide this service. Commensalism. Commensalism is a relationship where one organism benefits while the other neither benefits nor is harmed. The emperor shrimp rides sea cucumbers. The cucumber provides transportation for the shrimp to navigate through waters filled with his food source. The shrimp will hop off to hunt, then jump back on. Some crabs will grab an urchin and wear it as a hat for protection and camouflage. Frogfish hide in sponges to wait for prey to come by. Gobies hide in bubble coral. Small fish hide in the stinging tentacles of jellyfish. Some creatures hide in holes in coral and sponges. Some fish follow sharks and stingrays to feast on their leftovers. Parasitism. 
Parasitism is a relationship where one organism benefits at the expense of another, sometimes without killing the organism. Isopods, also known as sea lice, attach themselves to fish, sucking their blood, often migrating to their mouth, where they eat and replace the tongue. On that dreadful note, we must end this film.